Would you survive a trip to Jupiter? Ever wondered what it would be like to visit Jupiter? Forget the beaches and sunshine. This is a one-way ticket to a world of crushing pressure, radiation storms, and absolutely zero oxygen. Let's see if you've got what it takes to survive. Imagine plummeting through Jupiter's atmosphere. No fluffy clouds here. We're talking swirling ammonia crystals and a whole lot of hydrogen and helium. The pressure starts to build, increasing exponentially as you descend. Your spacecraft is groaning, and you're starting to feel like a grape in a hydraulic press. Good luck with that. Deeper down, things get really weird. The pressure is so intense that hydrogen turns into a liquid metal. Yes, you read that right. Metal hydrogen. Electrons are flowing freely, creating a massive electric current. Your spacecraft is now swimming in a sea of conductive goo. Hope your Faraday cage is up to snuff. Oh, did we mention the radiation? Jupiter's magnetic field is a beast, trapping charged particles and creating radiation belts thousands of times stronger than Earth's. Think of it as a cosmic microwave oven, slowly cooking you from the inside out. Even with shielding, you're getting a hefty dose of radiation sickness. Bon appétit! If you somehow made it this far, congratulations. You're about to experience pressure unlike anything on Earth. We're talking millions of times Earth's atmospheric pressure. Your spacecraft is now a pancake. And you... Well, let's just say you're not feeling so good. Survival is statistically improbable at this stage. So, would you survive a trip to Jupiter? Probably not. But that's the beauty of space exploration. Pushing the boundaries of what's possible, even if it's incredibly dangerous. If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-blowing space facts, and tell us in the comments which planet you'd like to visit next. Don't forget to share this video with your fellow space enthusiasts and let's explore the universe together.